The first kind of problem where we'll calculate work will deal with springs. So recall that work is going to be the integral of a force function. And with springs, the nice thing is that we're going to be given the force function. And all we need to do is integrate that. So these are fairly straightforward. But first, we need to back up a little bit and talk about springs in general. So with a spring, as you stretch the spring or compress it, the force that you need to apply to stretch it or compress it changes as you do so. So we've got a diagram here of a spring and every spring has a natural length to it. So if you leave a spring sitting on the counter, it'll compress or stretch to some natural length based on the coils and material and so on. If you stretch that, as you do so, you create a displacement, which we're going to call X. And the further you displace it, the harder the spring resists that. The further you stretch it past its natural length, the more it resists that force. And there's a very simple relationship between these two. This is called Hooke's Law. And that says that the force is proportional to that displacement. So notice carefully here that X refers to the displacement, not the final length after stretching. So the displacement would be the difference between the length of the stretch spring and the natural length. So we have to always know what the natural length is to find the displacement. And that constant of proportionality, that K, refers to the stiffness of the spring. Now this value K depends on several things. It depends on the material the spring is made out of, how thick the wire is that forms the spring, the number of coils, the size of the coils, uh, a whole bunch of things. But for us, we're just gonna come up with a single number K that represents the stiffness and we'll have a way to calculate that. So really with spring problems, the main focus for us is gonna be calculating the value of K because once we know that we can integrate to find the work done in stretching a spring. It'll be the integral of k times x. So they're relatively simple problems. The only difficulty is finding k. And to do that, we'll use an example here to illustrate how we do this. This example says, if a force of 10 pounds holds a 14 inch spring at a length of 18 inches, how much work is required to stretch the spring from its natural length to 20 inches? The second part of the problem is the question of work, but the first part of the problem is our key to finding K, the stiffness of the spring. So that notion of telling us the, the force that's required to hold the spring at a certain displacement, what that's doing is it's giving us the force and it's giving us the displacement and we can solve for K, the stiffness of the spring, knowing those two pieces. So we're going to set up this relationship F equals KX first. And we're going to use it once to solve for K. And then we'll use it a second time to integrate to find the work. So we kind of use this relationship F equals KX in two places. Once to find K and once to find the work. So the first sentence says, if the force of 10 pounds holds a 14 inch spring at a length of 18 inches and so on. That relationship tells us that the force is 10 pounds and the displacement, notice carefully, the spring is naturally 14 inches long. So the displacement to hold that out to 18 inches would be four inches. So you may write four here for X, but it's important to keep units on things. So let's actually write 10 pounds equals K, and then you could write four inches. And this would be totally fine, except that most of the time we wanna keep things in standard units because that tends to avoid a lot of simple mistakes. So we'll convert this to feet actually, so that everything's in terms of pounds and feet. And we'll talk a little bit more about units in another video, but it keeps things a little bit simpler if you use standard units. You could use inches here and it would be totally fine, but then your work units wouldn't be uh, standard work units. So instead of four inches, I'm gonna divide that by 12. So 
that would be 4 over 12, or 1 third of a foot. And then to solve for k, we'll multiply both sides by 3. So the stiffness k is 30 pounds per foot. So every foot of stretching uh, that's added onto this adds on 30 pounds of force required to hold it at that point. Once we know that, we can calculate the work that's required to stretch it by plugging in F equals KX into the work formula. So it's the integral of the force function, the integral of KX. In our case, we know that K is 30. And then all we need is the limits of integration. So the limits of integration will be the value of X at the beginning and at the end of this stretching process. At the beginning, it's being stretched from its natural length, so the displacement would be zero. Again, one of the most common problems that people run into here is they use the length of the spring at the two points as the limits of integration rather than the displacement. So just be careful and recognize that X always represents displacement from the natural length. At the upper end, it's being stretched to 20 inches, so that's six inches beyond its natural length. So it goes from zero inches to six inches, or remember that we're working in feet, so that would be zero feet to one half or 0.5. Once we have that set up, the integral is pretty easy to work out, so really the challenge is fitting the pieces into the formula correctly, finding the stiffness, and then finding the limits of integration. Integrating gives us 15 x squared, from 0 to 0 0.5, and then that would be 15 times 0.5 squared minus 15 times 0 squared, which works out to 3.75, and the units would be pound-feet. So we're simply integrating to find work, integrating the force function, and the force function is given to us as k times x. We needed to first find the stiffness k using that statement about the force required to hold it at a certain point, and then once we knew k, we could calculate the integral to find the work necessary to stretch it from its natural length to 20 inches.